Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing the unboxing for Dark Light Memento More, the Adventurer's Pack Supplement. I'm still waiting for the other expansion, so we'll see what happens, hopefully it turns up soon. I want to actually try and do a gameplay soon of this because it look, does look lush, if I'm being honest. The only worry I have though, there are seems to be one or two things in the game that will kill you instantly. So I'm like, ah! Because that does remind me so much of the old Warhammer. Okay, let's have a quick look at the front. Now to me that looks more like a monster than probably a hero, but it could also be like, I don't know, in the old like Warhammer world you'd have an ogre. To me that could be your ogre. You kind of witch hunter slash duelist. Not sure what to call that. Uh, another sort of wizardy type. So let's turn it around and let's have a look who they are meant to be. Nymph? Nymphu? That's obviously the big guy. The Quartira? That's the woman, obviously. Necromancer? This does really sound like a... Yeah, definitely the Necromancer. And the Revenant, which I think will be that one, that one there. Let's come out, I'm realising. So in this pack we're going to get a few things. So... Let's open it up and let's take a quick look. Okay, so straight away, the first thing that greets me is the cards. Now, I'm only going to go through this quickly, guys. I don't want to give too much information away. Well, it's a high initiative. So all of a sudden, I quite like the look of this guy. Uh, so, yeah, let's turn him around that sort of way. So, he would, you know, he, he starts with different things. Tells you what the advantage of using him is. Then there's the nymph, uh, nymphal. I can't pronounce it, and it annoys me that I can't. He was a higher initiative, a higher sanity, and I think higher wounds than the Black Knight. Hmm. But he has a large uh, base. Uh, I think this one has got a large base, so... Yeah, that's kind of... These seem better than the corset ones, if I'm being honest, guys. I wouldn't have minded the different... Um, cl um, genders as well, if I'm honest. Let's turn this around that way. So he comes with an undead soldier. The human. I believe this works with the necromancer. A bone golem. Oh wow. But there's no models for these. Damn it! The undead. Uh, are these things that you can fight as well? So. Have I just got. Are these things that he can do? No, no, these must be things that fight with his magic because there's no soul things or underneath. But it's a shame, I wouldn't mind a scene, something like Then there's a guide on how to use the necromancer and the, uh, the other necromancer sort of bits. So that's interesting. That's, that's cool. I quite like that, if I'm being honest, guys. Okay, so then you've got the, the tokens here. Uh, I believe that's his undead troops. Then you've got the flying undead things. Then you've got the tokens to represent. A bit like the old. Let's zoom in. It's not focusing. Sorry about it, guys. You bone golem. Got some other bits. There's the undead champion. The bats. And the massive golem thing. And I think when they got this sort of thing, they're down. Yeah. Let's put that over there. Now let's open up this other bit. Now I'm assuming I'm trying to work out where the cards are. They're meant to come with cards. All inside here, guys. Now, okay, so a little bit. I'm not sure I want to open this just yet. So, actually, no. His his stands the same size as the others, but that's a really big model. And I've, I've been honest with you guys. This model looks really good. I'm actually liking what I'm seeing here, guys. Quite a lot. So let's put that there for a minute. There's your revenant. That does look good. It looks like a witch doctor in a way to me. Look at that dagger, guys. I do like the face mask. And all the leather bits on him. Have a little dagger at the back. That does look cool. The necromancer model looks amazing, if I'm honest. Just wow. <sighs> Maybe the sword's a little bit yeah. But the rest of it is beautiful, like this, that, that just there guys, sorry, that just looks amazing. Hair flow, everything, that just looks really cool to me. Then you've got your courtier. I think I'm saying it right. 
So she's got a rapier and a pistol with lovely flowing hat behind her. Actually, you know what, bugger it, I'm going to take a quick look at the cars. Because it's easy for me just to put that back in that little set there, so I don't have to worry too much, and then close the box. Okay, so we've got a few things here. So we've got the Necromancer cards. So that's what he starts off with, is a sacrificial dagger. That's kind of cool. Revenant starts off with a shiv. Again, that's kind of cool. Kind of like the idea of that. Our Courtier starts off with a rapier. That's a good starting weapon. Yeah, that is actually quite a good starting weapon, if that is the one she can start with. Oh, there's a couple here by looks like for her. Uh, he starts off with a woodcutter's axe. Does do quite a bit of damage. And she also starts off with a widow's guard. Okay, then you've got the spells. The necromancer, so you've got a few things here. Don't want to show too much. Then you've got the necromancy, which is wow! Wow, that's a lot of skills. See, I should have done this in the other video, but I didn't. So let's just see. Don't want to show too much. I'm gonna be careful. There's a good few things here. One mind. Oh, at level three. So there's some level one things, all the way to level six. Okay, so. Again, I've got to read the rules properly on this, guys. I want to get around to playing it, I really do. But I want to wait for the other expansion due to the uh, advice from one of the guys that have done the vi um, gameplay video I watched a little while ago. So you've got the duelist skill cards, you've got the barbarians, the assassins, which I think is the revenant, basically. There's quite a few here, guys. So yeah, and the assassins, I've left some on the ground over here. Let's quickly turn one over and have a look. Stealth. And it's not focusing. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. It does look cool. I'm uh, very interested in, as I said, getting around to playing this. I want to try single player as the Black Knight, but I'm a little worried about playing as the Black Knight because, again, as I just said, his, his sanity seems quite low. And I've got that, I'm not sure if that may be a problem because it is a particular enemy if I go up against them. That's attached to insanity. Your sanity, sorry. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did you do the Kickstarter yourself? Did you enjoy it? Have you enjoyed playing it? I haven't got right to say I'm, I'm waiting. I'm taking the advice from one of the other uh, gamers who's done their, done their bits as well. I think it's called Dungeon Dive. Uh, so, yeah. He's also done a gameplay video as well, guys. So, check that out. I'm not sure if he gets everything right, but... He's one of the first people to do it, and also Dig slash Dark Ice Games also tell you what they uh, think about the actual, uh, sorry, what, what rules he may have got wrong and stuff like that. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you'd like to leave a comment, everyone is welcome, come, please do. Also guys, let me know what, um, are you interested in playing this? Please subscribe. Help me on that road to 1,000. I may have said that already. If I haven't, well, I'm repeating myself. Hey, guys. Have a good day. And goodbye.